Now, campaigners worried about secrecy in the NHS are set to lobby a meeting of local health bosses in the next half hour or so. The campaign against NHS privatisation in Leicester claims the meeting of senior figures working on plans for the future of health services across Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland is being held in private when they claim it should be in public. Well, the leader of the campaign, Bob Ball, has been explaining to our political reporter, Tim Parker, why they're protesting this morning. Our key message is the NHS is a public service for the benefit of the public, it's pay for the public, and all these meetings are about cuts to the local NHS services, which are going to have a significant impact. They are controversial, there have been protests right across the country. They're setting out plans. We're going to lose hospitals in the city. We can come down from three city hospitals to two. There's going to be two lost in the county. 1,500 jobs will go. Maternity services will be trimmed. And we're going to see a downward pressure on the quality of the services. And that is what is facing the public. They're not making any major decisions in this well, meeting. Well, they are. This is, this is an executive meeting of the leaders. You've got leaders of the Leicester the county, including Rutland, CCC groups. You've got University of Oslo Leicester. You've got Leicestershire Partnership Trust. You've got the East Midlands Ambulance Service. So there's a major group making decision-making, and they are discussing cuts, and that is what's coming down the road. We should concentrate enhancing the services, because if you have a cuts-driven policy, quality degrades, and it hits the public. But at the end of the day, as I say, th th this meeting tomorrow won't make any strategic decisions, will it? So, Well, we don't know. That is the thing, because it's a, it's a secret meeting. We're not allowed. I phoned up on Tuesday. Uh, I said, I wish to attend the meeting. Would you please confirm the time and date of the meeting? I said, sorry, it's a, not a public meeting. It's for the executive. So the public is excluded. And the public, it's a public service, as I said right at the beginning, it's a public service for the benefit of the public, pay for the taxpayer, and they're discussing cuts to the service which are against the public interest. That was Bob Ball. Well, Toby Sanders is the lead for the local NHS group, which is looking at the STP, the Sustainability and Transformation Plan for Future Health Services. Uh, morning, Toby. Are you being secretive? No, absolutely not. Um, we have... Uh the decisions that are taken around the sorts of service changes that we've just been hearing about, changes to hospital services, changes to community services, those decisions will be taken in public, in full, in the boards of the partner organisations. The, the meeting that we're talking about that takes place today is a meeting that I chair a little bit later on today. Um, it's effectively a management team meeting across the partner organisations. It's where we come together to develop proposals, to develop the detail, and that detail is then received by the statutory bodies who have the responsibility for making those decisions, whether that's that's the hospital trust, whether that's the commissioning group organisations. So this is not a secret decision-making body. It's also worth noting, Joe, that we have um, patient representation around that table this morning that meets. We have a separate group um, of patient reps. They meet, they look at all the papers before the meeting, they send comments in to us um, through the chair of that group who's part of that group that meets this morning. Can you understand, though, that with so many services under discussion and effectively, eventually, decisions that could have a pr profound impact on so many people across Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland that perhaps a, a need for more transparency uh, could be appreciated. Yeah, we absolutely get the importance of openness and of transparency. The minutes of all meetings that take place this morning, they're received in public, they're on our website, they're received by the boards of those organisations. I think the really important thing here is there has to be a place in any system, any organisation, where people get together actually do the legwork, do the planning, do the detail. That doesn't make it a decision-making forum. It is the place that it puts the detail around our plans. So just to give you one quick example, we were talking here a month or so ago about the new capital funding we've got into Leicestershire. That's the kind of stuff this group does. It works up the detail detailed business cases, the detailed plans. It does not make the final decisions. Those are taken in public, fully open and fully transparent. But what's the harm of, of, of having a public presence in, in those meetings? I think it's more about the, the dynamic within those meetings. Any large organisation will have public elements to their work and have elements where they get together and just thrash out and grind out the detail. We'll meet for three hours this morning and go through a lot of things. We'll be talking about GP services, we'll be talking about cancer care, we'll be talking about public consultation. All of those things will emerge into the public domain once they've been worked up to that stage. And cuts are at the heart of it, though, aren't they? Um, no, this is about how we make choices really? with the funding. Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm not being disingenuous. This is about how we make choices with the funding we've got. We'll spend more on health services over 
over the next five years in Leicestershire than we do today. We need to manage that resource well. And this is a group of people, I think, doing what taxpayers would expect, people like me who are funded by the taxpayer to do, coming together, working across organisations. The NHS is often rightly criticised for being fragmented and not working well enough together, and this is the kind of room that sorts that out. This is a, a huge plan uh, it's with profound implications. At what stage are you at? Are you any closer to being able to, to, to reveal how the future of healthcare across Leicester, Leicester and Rutland is going to look? Yeah, absolutely. We've made really good progress with this. We shared draft plans last um, autumn time. Um, we had some really good news a few weeks ago about the first stages of funding to support parts of that. We'll be talking today about the timeline for formally consulting on some of the other changes we wish to make. That's likely to take us into the early part of next year, so 2018, but we're you know, completely focused on getting to that point. And briefly, can you appreciate, though, that the, the very real fears that people have when, when you're looking at a shake-up of this size, that, that ultimately it could lead to cuts in services that they might rely on. But we absolutely do. We all, all of us who work in the NHS care passionately and deeply about the service. That's why we're there, and it matters hugely to local people. We get that, and that's why it's important to us to have that patient and public voice in the room when we're having those discussions this morning. But it's also important to us that we make sure we consider and work things up properly, and that's the kind of things that that group this morning will be doing. OK, and briefly on schedule? Uh, yep, yeah, we're on schedule. Early next year we'll be coming out with some formal consultation. OK, Toby Sanders, thank you very much uh, for coming in this morning.